So in the video I'm probably going to post after this, where I'm wearing a yellow sweater, I talk about how people's very survival, their very existence testifies toward, to their cowardice, really their generational cowardice. Um, before I get into this, let me just briefly touch on this, why this is. They can't address the top martial artist argument. The hero must emerge, right? Babylon's system. The government is oppressive. The media is part of the, the, the system of oppression. Uh, certainly every decent person can agree on that. It's obvious, okay? And certainly this means that the true martial artist must challenge all to the, be the best way he can, the most logical way he can. We must look, what is the logical way for this person to challenge people? It's you too, okay? Whose challenge are we going to take seriously? Right, we're going to take seriously the guy who's the son of a brain surgeon who's been doing martial arts for over 20 years, who's been a grand champion for over 20 years, who's in, in better shape than anyone that you've ever seen. Right? I've, I've posted that picture uh, many times. You can look at the shape and think about how the shape relates to the ability to strike. It's kind of like a bird has wings, you can tell it can fucking fly. Right? That's a bird. That's a lion. And so on and so forth. Okay. Certainly after you've been observing people walk and move and do sports and all these things for a long time, you can kind of understand how it's stupid for them to pretend as somebody who is intense and focused and determined, who's been making these videos consistently and talking about martial arts consistently, right? For about 10 years on YouTube, if you count the Egyptian uh, first video in 2009 where I talk about Horus, who's a, a god of divine law, martial arts, war, sky god, uh, and, and so on and so forth, the avenger, right? The protector, basically a war god. Okay. And of course, I've shown my the pictures where uh, I bought the weapons back in 2009 as well, the martial art weapons. All right, which they've taken away from me, incidentally. Okay, so when we look at this thing, right, courage, heart, passion, love, sense, they're connected. You have to sense evil and to despise it, to start being passionately opposed to it, to feel heroism. That's injustice, sensitive to injustice. Okay, Sensibility. Okay, the ability to sense, okay, to detect, to ascertain, to deduce, to figure out, okay, deductive reasoning, critical thinking. All right. So once you look at these things and say, hey, you know what? Why should you survive in this evil world where it live is evil backwards? So that is symbolic of this culture that understands what they're doing is wrong and that only idiots are going to roll with it, only cowards. Okay, so we also have to consider the blameless one. Everyone else has a reason to fight to the death other than the blameless one. He must be his, the door for anybody who's left behind. Like in the Bible, Jesus said he's there for the lost sheep of Israel. I must be here for anybody who wants to die in a way that brings them to heaven. Who is smart enough, right? What separates animals from humans is being smart enough to connect to the righteous one and understand they should follow him. Okay and not try to do it themselves because they don't know what the fuck they're doing and to understand how that relates to martial arts. Certainly in America in the last 50 years or so, they've made it clear with their martial art movies why that is. And certainly before that, every culture in the world had martial artists and they sort of started to connect these things together. Okay, so it's page 217, fighting for honor, right? Honor, honor thy father and thy mother, honor thy God, honor the principles of righteousness and honor. Fighting for honor. Do we need this book to know that we should be prepared to fight to the death when in matters of the most important morality? And that has to do with the top martial artist's rightful place, his the spiritual order, the way to connect to God, things that are sacred. People used to kill people for uh, treading on the sacred gown, for burning churches, and so on and so forth. These things got people killed. Okay? And for raping women, right? Honor killings. Why did they do these things? Because certainly these things are important. How important are they? All right, figure it out. Frederick Douglass, following his triumphant confrontation with Kobe, echoes this sentiment, writing that a man without force is without the essential dignity of humanity. Thus, fighting ability under the right conditions, the right circumstances, provided exceptional individuals with the force to demand dignity. Even the less fortunate who were killed in their attempts to defend their honor died fighting as proud women and men. Both they and the more successful claimed their bodies as their own. Those who resisted the dishonor of whippings disarmed their oppression, their, their oppressor of the central means of physical discipline. Their resistance ideologically rejected their status as mere chattel objects, animals, right? 
and proclaim their authority over their own bodies and their will above that of their enslavers. Their enslavers are behaving like animals and they want you in an animal order. That's why animus in their languages means spirit. Okay, Greek, right? Spirit, animus. Psyche means mind and soul because they pretend they have a soul because they're animals. And the people are doing this. And everyone who's rolling with it is a mere chattel object. Do animals go to heaven? No. Do animals go to heaven? No. Do those who refuse to put their will above that of their enslavers have a chance to go to heaven? No. Does that by itself mean you go to heaven? No. You have to know the way, and that is the truth. You cannot steal from God's son and his right to lead. Obi, meaning king heart, hut, temple. Obey and go to heaven. You cannot disobey God and then die in a way that is honorable. And God said, this is my son that I love. Listen to him. Eri, ear I. Eira, Haru, the H's defense. Ear I. Eira, the way to Ra is the martial art order. Intense righteousness. Spirit, striking down injustice. Okay, striking down evil, striking down the fence. That's why fencing is called fencing. They're trying to keep you in the fence. And boxing is called boxing. They're trying to keep you in the box, in prison. And not spar it. Spirit is how to use the spirit to escape. Parrot, right? Pairing people up to par. What is the par? What is the scale? Scale, skill, skull, and kill are connected. Transferable skills for actual combat, for killing, not beating somebody up to pretend that you're bad. That is stupid. That is childish. As seen through the experience of Frederick Douglass, this could lead to a profound psychological or mental empowerment and a, an affirmation of their human dignity. Human dignity. Human dignity, decency, a man of God versus an animal that lets the enslavers round them up and make them groupy cowards and raise stupid bitches that shun martial art heroes so they can live a short life that's a bitch as a bitch and grow old and be an old bitch to then raise another bitch and bring them right to Satan. Sacrificing their children for ball in a sense at least. How stupid is that? How cowardly is that? How despicable is that? If I had a child who was hell-bent to mislead other people, I would execute them myself. Capoeiras outwardly displayed a similar inner pride through their distinctive dress and bold rocking swagger. Walk with God. Walking with the Spirit of God versus the cocky swagger. Now, capoeiras weren't perfect. They were like intermediaries and thieves who are also stealing my rightful place. And we see all these years later, the capoeiras who are left do not rally to me. They do not bring their daughters to me and their sisters. They do not convince people to serve me. They serve this world and they focus on dancing. You may as well put them in a rap video half naked and have them shake their fucking booties because they're going out like bitches, like the rest of the so-called martial artists who aren't obeying the divine order. You may as well be sucking off your oppressor and having an orgy with a goat because you are the Baphomet's sniveling worms. Fuck's wrong with you. These people of Rio knew these signs to be loud proclamations by capoeiras. They were, they were their own masters and would to proudly defend their master with kicks, headbutts, and blades, which is more natural combat like the flint knives that were buried with the pharaohs. And wasn't it Flint, Michigan, where they had the water crisis? They love this kind of symbolic wordplay because they're magic spell bitch. You hear these conspiracy theories talking about magic spell. Quite often they're right and they're onto something because the people doing this are magic spell, trade root, scribe bitches. They are Ro Greco Roman corporation, sex cult, glove, uh, excuse me, guild, craftsman club type bitches. Club backwards is bulk, ball, the bull. Set, jackal, ball, be all, jack all. Jackass, a form of set, the donkey. The kind of effeminate elephant, the hippo superimposed on the elephant idea. A kind of cartoon, silly, demon-faced hippo. The people who are ruling over you are sick 
bitches. They boldly fought for control of the streets and offensively turned the fear of physical violence against white senhoras and their agents of domination, the police and National Guard. Do you think I give a flying fuck if they're white? I care about who is obeying and who is misleading. And if you then add the element of my race gives me the reason for me to be in charge, you have cursed your race that much more. Anyone who's rolling with that, anyone who's benefiting from that, cannot then say, hey, just because I'm white. No, you are not obeying as well. You are guilty and are as cursed as they are for daring to make it about flesh when God is the spirit for you not to obey. The more you benefit, there's a pyramid of guilt. And the more you benefit, the more you're a spiritual bottom feeder. You are an empty vessel, the craft, ship, shipmate, mating, all those ship words. You are an empty vessel because of the craft and the crafty demons. Witchcraft, the craft, masonry, building, trade route, ninnies, making roads, all roads lead to Rome, all spiritual paths to God either lead to me and obeying me before it is too late or they are dead. The dead cannot connect to the living. Those who have no spirit of God inside of them because they refuse to obey. You cannot learn to be to the martial arts, to order to martial, to order to arrange. They connect you to God without obeying. Resurrection. Ra. Soar. Action. How do you soar like a falcon? How do you connect to God? It's one way to look at it. It's all wordplay, but you should get the idea. How do I connect to God in the true spirit of those who have heart and aren't suffering from white denial, aren't suffering from globalist Jewish trade route garbage? Those who know that the truth in God is in the spirit. It's not in the flesh, and it can only be in the spirit of no ill-gotten gains from a worthy vessel. The only time it becomes about the flesh is when you try to make your child somebody who, who appears to be... No, you cannot connect to God without me raising a child because that is my bloodline, okay? That is the vessel God has put here to communicate to you. There is no snake in that. It will not be replaced. You will be utterly disgraced and among the most cursed for cutting man off definitively as I am the last worthy one. I tell you the truth, not even my own family in Nigeria or in America can connect to God. Only I can. And only through me can anyone else. Once you have cheated me at this critical juncture, this mind control bitch juncture, when nobody can definitively prove otherwise because all their forefathers who are alive right now made it so that it is impossible, impossible, to prove that you can connect to God, that you are worthy, even though you screened out the last blameless one. How could you prove it? So not only is it a logical fallacy, why would God choose those who didn't stand with the hero and their offspring? Those who are mere chattel objects who couldn't put their will above that of their enslaver and will and will are connected to the bloodline, the will, the family will. The will is the water, the living water, the water of the body. Water as a symbol of human life and reproduction. Semen, fertility, water, even Anki, the great shepherd deity, a bitch, was concerned with water. Like Tiamat and Apsu. Fresh water, salt water, the, the deep, and so deep water. The legacy of African martial arts traditions in the Americas provided bondsmen with potent weapons for physical and ideological defense. These martial arts can be read as a logos of diasporic culture that was subjected to bondage but ultimately in cultural terms was not bounded by it. Where do people come from? Africa. When you know we all come from Africa, how much of an idiot are you to then turn around and say, well, I'm, I'm from fucking Alaska or something, guys. Hey, guys, my ancestors. No, your ancestors start in Africa. If you don't address the top martial arts African argument, you may as well be the white oppressor that you're complaining about. You're a hypocrite. You have turned your back on your truest ancestors for some selfish, my tribe type of bitch shit. Think about it. 